today we are going to touch upon one of the most popular degrees for engineers out there often considered the new kid on the block it's not new anymore it's one of the most promising degrees if you want great job opportunities we are talking about the masters in engineering management or the MEM and in this video you're going to know everything about what makes this program so popular and why corporates are looking to recruit MEM graduates so very regularly today So I am Srikar Sanaparadi, I am the co-founder of Gradwine, I am a Dartmouth MEM myself. Over the last few years, Gradwine has helped thousands of candidates to the finest universities all over the world with 98% of our students making it to a top 50 university in the US for their program. Alright, so what is the Masters in Engineering Management? The best way to explain this is to compare the MEM to the most popular traditional management degree out there, which is the MBA, right? An MEM has been popularly called the Engineer's MBA, but over the years it means so much more. Especially post the pandemic, with the rise in digital products and tech permeating our lives in all different ways. For instance, if you have to order a taxi, you use an app. If you want to watch a movie, you use an app. If you want to order groceries, you use an app. So everything is tech driven. Therefore, there is a rise in the need for leaders and managers who understand how tech is built intrinsically. That is why an engineering management degree has forged its own identity and it's unfair to call it just an engineer's MBA anymore. Why is engineering management such a valuable education? Well, apart from the management basics such as marketing, finance, strategy, accounting, which you will cover through an MEM program, you also have the ability to make decisions backed by data. A lot of MEM programs have a strong emphasis on decision science, statistics, probability and maybe also core analytics components. Today's corporates expect early level or entry level managers to have a strong understanding of analytics based decision making and how data can be used to transform businesses. This is a core skill that a lot of early level or mid level managers need to have. The MEM program through its curriculum gives you exactly these skills. So this is the foundational definition of why an MEM program is valuable in terms of what skills it imparts. I will talk about the specific career opportunities in a later part of this video. So considering all the information that I've given you, who should pursue an MEM? Well, a simple answer to that is if you're an engineer, you can very seriously consider an engineering management degree. Whether you are from the software or circuit department such as computer science or an electronics and communications or an IT or an ML or an AI, you can get into MEM and have great job opportunities in the tech sector. Even if you are from the non-circuit branches like a traditional mechanical civil production engineer, you can get into manufacturing or if you'd like, you can also use the MEM to transform into the product or the digital or the tech side as well. The MEM is truly universal and it's here to stay. Now, Gradwine's advice is always balanced, right? We are not here to paint a rosy picture. Who should not pursue an MEM, therefore? If you are somebody who wants to get into pure management roles, such as management consulting or strategy consulting, sales, advertising, these sort of roles which really don't have any tech component to them, the MEM may not be the best degree for you. While you'll have enough and more electives to pursue and go forth with these interests, you'll have to understand that a lot of roles for the MEM are available in the tech sector itself. Therefore, pure advertising, pure strategy consulting may not see as much of a recruiting opportunity for you. So now that I've told you what the core skill sets in MEM degree imparts, let me talk to you about the specific job roles that MEM candidates get into usually. The most popular role that engineering managers are graduating into as of today in the US and in other European geographies as well is product management. Like I referred to in the earlier part of this video, the rise in digital products and products driving everything that we use today, there is a requirement for product managers. MEMs are valuable because they understand how these products are built because they come from an engineering background. With the management education they gain and the strategic outlook that the MEM degree provides, they know how to balance the tech requirements and development costs and development timelines along with the strategic vision that senior management has. In fact, you can think of a product manager as the quarterback between senior leadership and the developers on the ground and this is a critical role. Therefore, product management is perhaps the most popular role that most MEM grads are getting into. Very closely related to product management is project management. Projects, of course, deal with smaller parts of execution when you are building a larger product and project managers also need to understand what it takes to develop and build a product or engineer it and what the management is expecting in terms of 
profitability, costs and timelines. Now, don't worry if you're not the digital kind of person and you're not all into digital products. MEMs have traditionally been very, very strong in giving the industry operations managers, supply chain managers and manufacturing managers. So if you come from a mechanical or civil engineering background or even a chemical engineering background for that matter, and you worked in the industry for a year or two on the manufacturing front, getting into supply chain management or operations management is a possibility from certain MEM programs. A fun fact for you is that a lot of engineering management programs are a spin-off of industrial engineering programs which deal exclusively with manufacturing and a lot of top MEM programs find their origins through their industrial engineering departments. Another popular role that people get into at an entry level especially if they don't have work experience is the role of a business analyst. A lot of MEM freshers who picked up a lot of analytics electives through their MEM program start off their careers as business analysts and then transition and grow into product or project managers. Now, if you want to know my personally curated list of top 10 MEM programs, you can check out that video by clicking right here. So now that I've covered the typical job roles and career outcomes after an MEM program, you should want to know what the average starting salaries are. The starting salaries for MEM have been on their rise with better programs having incredibly impressive stats. For example, Dartmouth's average starting salary range has been between 110 to 150 thousand dollars according to their website in the last year. This has increased multifold in the last three or four years. Similarly, Columbia has a starting salary range between 90 to 120 thousand dollars, Duke between 90 to 105 thousand dollars, and the list goes on. If you want the complete list of average starting salaries after the good MEM programs, comment below and we'll share that list with you. Now, if you are considering an MEM degree, it's worthwhile to explore another degree called the Management in Information Systems, MIS. Now, I'm not going to dive deep into that. My co-founder Suraj has already explained everything you need to know about it. And it's a powerful degree if you're considering product management. To view that video, please click here. So I hope you found this video insightful and useful. If you did, please help us by liking, sharing and subscribing to our channel. In addition, if you want any help with your MEM or any other MS applications, you can always schedule a free consultation call with Gradwine using the link in the description. Thank you.